Oops, sorry, I didn't see you there. I was transplanting a brain into my friend, Mr. Frankenstein over there. <coughs> and now, welcome to the Kids Corporation Halloween Special. <laughs> Hello? Hi, what are you doing? I'm doing my homework. Oh man, do you remember Halloween Wow, I totally forgot Halloween was just in a few days. Yeah, you wanna um, meet me at the Halloween store? Sure, of course. Um I'll meet you at the Halloween store in an hour. Okay, sounds good. Okay, bye. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, hi guys! Hey, hey! Hey, I'm gonna be so scared there. It's gonna be freaky. Well, I guess we're all here, but where's Kristen? Hi guys, I'm here! Hey! 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 So, are you guys excited for Halloween? We wouldn't be here if we were already ready for Halloween. Dude, just take a chill pill. Yeah, what she said. I would take a chill pill, but my mom wouldn't let me take pills. There's no turning back now. Whatever. Welcome. The store closes in 10 minutes, kids. 10 minutes? We better look fast. Yeah. I'll go that way. I'll go that way. Okay. I don't like this place. You think this is scary? You know what's scary? My granny's teeth in a glass. Ew, gross. Hey, by the way, Waldo, why did your parents name you that? I don't know. I think they hate me. They must, because that's a weird name. Don't let it stress you out. And by the way, go get a mask, because the one you're wearing, it's pretty scary. There's no one here but us. Hey guys, we're locked in. The store is closed. Take like a tree and leave. No! <laughs> this is like a bad movie. A real bad movie. Someone missing? You and you and her and me. But where's Waldo? O M G! Now what do we do? We're stuck in here. Okay, wait. Don't panic. 
We all have cell phones. Do you guys have any bars? No. no. Me neither. It's not working. Mine's dead. Mine's dead too. What about you, Alexa? Yep, mine's dead too. Wait, I have a signal. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Well? 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 What? What? It's dead. Oh. Where have you been? I've been on the dark side. Well, not pitch black, but it's pretty dark. This is not a good sign. We need to find a way out of here. You go this way, you go this way, you go this way, you go that way, go this way, go, go! This all be a season way out. This is no way out. I don't think that's a way out. That's not a way out. He did not find a way out. Bathroom here. This is our new home. I am now with them. I too am on the dark side. It's not pitch black. But it's pretty dark, like Waldo said. Come to the dark side, cause we have some fresh cookies, cookies! You guys are crazy! This is not my home! There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There is no place like home. There's 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 no place like home. Wake up, honey. You're having a bad dream. On M. Where's Toto? Wrong movie, dear. Oh. Okay. Come on, time to get up. We have to go to the Halloween store today. Today, we're at the workshop of Larry Scholl, where they make animatronics for the Folsom Ghost Train. I'm going to do my best for the interview today, but for some reason I got a splitting headache. Let's go inside and check it out. Larry, what gave you the idea to do the Folsom Ghost Train? You know, I think it's just my love for theme park attractions and it, how it started as usual it started in my home and I started doing animatronics for Halloween parties at home like a lot of people did I think and um, as things grew it outgrew the home and we started to realize we had a, a large collection of stuff and I had contacted Terry Gold who runs the Folsom train and he came by and met me and saw what I was doing at my home and when he asked me to, if we said, why don't you bring your stuff, instead of doing a party, bring your Halloween animatronics up to the train this year. And so we did that. Uh, we thought, well, gosh, you know, what's going to happen? We've never done this before for the public. And so we really didn't publicize it much. I just wanted to see if we could even do it. And we brought all the characters up. And at that time, it was a lot less characters. And we put it on the train, and, and we had the event. And it was really a surprise. It went over very, very well. And... I was thrilled and you know and I said well, we'll do it again and at this point we still weren't really a for real business at the time we were just kind of doing it for fun Yay! 
Then we did it another year, and as usual with everything I do, it grew, and we got more and more uh, added to it. And finally, it got to a point where we realized the, the audiences were growing and, and the popularity, so we said, well, I guess we really have something. So we started to say, this is really, we're going to now start advertising this and treating it like a business and invite everybody. And so um, where we are now is we have... Uh, quite a lot of animatronics out there. In fact, that's one of the things about this that is really unique. Uh, you won't find for anywhere around here is this is an entire all audio animatronic show. There are absolutely no live actors in the show. And so it's a very complete theme park experience. Uh, and now we have a, a larger area that we work in and we add every year to uh, the ghost train. In fact, this year, uh, one of the things that we're adding is uh, we have the only ghost circus lion in, in captivity. We've added a, a ghost lion to this, and we will be having a lion tamer and other things to this. So we have a lot of ghosts from all around in this attraction, all types of, of characters. And also, it's almost all ghosts. That's really rare, too. There's not a lot of monsters so much. There are a few, but uh, a lot of ghosts in this attraction. So uh, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. There's more and more ghosts, and... Uh, and here we are again, doing it for the fifth uh, year. Larry, is this the place that you work on animatronics? Uh, yes, uh, we do work on some of them here. We, we actually work on them in several locations uh, because we've been doing this on the side for now. And, uh, but this is our main hub, and we have a lot of the characters here uh, so that the engineers can work on them and maintain them for the show. And uh, I have some at my house, and we have some at other locations. And what we do is, right near the ghost train time, we have to get a lot of people together and bring all these characters in a giant van up to the site and put them into place and light them and put the audio. So it's, a, it's quite a uh, large effort. And uh, as we started the show, I remember us getting like a smaller sized U-Haul. Now we have to get like a moving van size. <laughs> so it's grown more and more. And we have interesting stories about the uh, devil dog hanging out the side of a truck, you know, on the freeway. You'd see w weird images of that. We went through all that. I found this creature here. Let's see if he has anything to say. Hello, my name is John. I'm getting over the My voice is very... I love Kids Corporation. Come back someday. Hi, and welcome to Mr. Ed's Used Cars. Have we got a car for you? And we guarantee that every car has at least four tires. Look, one. Two, take my word for it, they all have four tires. And every car has at least one steering wheel because we all know how important it is to steer a car. And if that wasn't enough, every car here at Mr. Ed's is on sale. <coughs> every price tag has been reduced to up to 100%. <coughs> Some of the cars here at Mr. Ed's are totally free. <coughs> and if you come in the next 24 hours, every car will come with a free piece of chicken. Wow! So come on down to Mr. Ed's, because some car down here has your name on it. And if it doesn't have your name on it, we will write your name on it. So come on down. These cars are going fast. And look, there goes one now. Dude, we were gonna do how sausage is made, but we're gonna do this instead. Hi, I'm Erin from Kids Corporation, and I'm here at Monster Mini Golf in Rancho Cordova. 
Why don't you come with me and we'll find out what's inside. Cindy. Hi, Aaron. This is a really, really cool place. So how long have you been here? Um, we opened March 29th, and so we officially had our five-month birthday just a few days ago. That's exciting. So, Cindy, can you have birthday parties here? Can you have birthday parties here? My gosh, this place was made for the most unique birthday rooms. Um, people come in here and look at the rooms and go, wow! wow. Typical white walls, white floors. Um, we make them look like your typical Adams family kind of room. So can you tell us about the course and who designed it? The course is actually designed by the franchise. This is a franchise. We had the idea for indoor golf and I found the franchise. They're located back east. And the brains behind it is actually um, Pat. He designs the whole course and the flow depending on your building. The idea for the theme of your course is up to you. And when you go out there, you'll notice that a lot of the artwork is all done about um, camping, Folsom Lake. That was our theme for the golf course. Oh. Huh. So Cindy, did you do anything special for Halloween? This year for Halloween, we did something crazy. We had three coffins set up on the golf course and they were all wrapped in glow-in-the-dark chain with a great big lock on it. And if you came in dressed in um, a costume and played golf, you got a key voucher. And you collected those key vouchers on October 30th when you came in, you got a key voucher that you had and your key could turn the key on that lock on the coffin and you would get the prize inside. Wow that is cool. So is there a lot of work involved with operating this business? I can't believe you asked me There's that. There's a lot of work. Um, it's a good payoff though because it's fun. You have to be a people person. You have to like people. Um, it Typically I'm here at least 12 hours a day and my husband also owns it with me and, and he's here also and we have other jobs besides this. So yeah, we have to work our butts off. Wow! It's very fun. You have to be, um, to work here you have to be kind of quirky. You might be interviewing some of my employees and they're all real fun. <laughs> oh no. So we have a good time. <laughs> How many monster mini golfs are there in the whole entire United States? Well, the United States is a big place, but I was number 13, and I believe they have opened three more since myself, but I can't be positive, so I think we're up to 16. So, is this the only one in California? Right now, I'm the only one in California, but soon, in a few months, Bakerfield will be opening up. Today, we're in an ordinary street in an ordinary neighborhood. But today, it's far from ordinary. 
Many years ago, before most of us watching Kids Corporation were born, there was a hugely successful television series called The Twilight Zone. I felt myself morphing inside that mask into that creature, so I thought I should take it off before it was too late! Today, we are on the set of Night Tales, a current day Twilight Zone that Flavor Flav and filmmaker Dion Taylor have created. We will find out what really goes on behind the scenes of a television show. Come with me, if you dare. We're now on the set. There's a lot of action going around here. It's like organized chaos. with Dion Taylor, the director of Night Tales. Can you tell us how you chose this location? Yeah, basically we were looking for a house to use in Sacramento. Um, this actually used to be my home uh, about five or six years ago and uh, kind of put it on the market, so it's been kind of sitting here vacant. So I decided to come down here and use it. I thought it had really good production values, a really good neighborhood. Um, neighbors have always been great to me, so I wanted to bring something to them where they could laugh and have a good time over the next couple of days. But more importantly, the house was actually right for the script. Um, in other words, it's more like a single family home, and that's what the script uh, entailed. Can you tell us a little bit about the plot of this episode? Yeah, the uh, plot of the episode right now is uh, the Black Widow. And um, what happens is there's a uh, mother and a daughter um, who actually are... Um, conspiring to trap men that are bad men and um, turn them into wallets and purses. <laughs> it's pretty funny, yeah. Can you tell us about the scene you're filming today? Yeah, so basically today the scene is about um, Bridget Nielsen, her character Mona. Uh, we are introduced to her in her home and um, she's actually taking orders for her business and uh, it's a pretty funny scene and her daughter comes home and they have a huge argument about uh, the business, the family business kind of going down a little bit and she wants more help from her daughter. Um, and that's kind of what we're shooting here today. It's going to probably be a long day for me because uh, in terms of blocking and getting the shots that I want to get, because the house is so small, it takes a little time to uh, kind of move the camera around and get the things that you want to get. Is this going to be a lot of work today or is it going to be fun? Uh, it's always fun when you're working, man. Um, but the answer to the question is, yeah, it'll be a hard day, it'll be a long day, uh, but it's always fun when you're doing movies and films and TV or whatever. Uh, so I never complain about it. I kind of feel like I'm blessed to be able to do it. So I guess the answer would be it would be more fun. Thank you for your time. The set of a movie, there is a whole bunch of very expensive equipment. Check this camera out. Pretty cool. Now we're here with Bridget Nielsen. What brought you on to this project? Well, hi there. Hello, everybody. Well, thank you for asking me, Alex. Um, I was called by Dion Taylor and asked if I wanted to participate in Night Tales playing the character of Mona. And I don't know if you know, Mona is a weird bird. She's a mother to lovely Lisa here. And she's afraid of leaving her house as this wild character that she's actually one woman but she has four different personalities so it's exciting and I'm here because I love the crew I love Dion and because I love I love being on stage how do you prepare for your particular character well this time around I honestly I didn't have much time you just um, what you have to do is just go 100% into the character don't hide anything just let it all go just dive in and do as much as you can. If you have time, you do a little bit of research. For example, Mona, my character, she has the phobia of afraid of leaving the house. It would have been great if we've had more time to study that. I have friends that are that, which is a terrible phobia. It's a terrible disease that you are so afraid to leave the house. Do you know anyone that's like that? Thank God. Okay. So I'm portraying her that has this kind of disease, which is really weird. So she basically lives in the house. She can only just open the door and close it again or let the people in. So it should be interesting, but it's definitely a challenge. Well, thank you for watching the Kids Corporation Halloween special. Hope you get more treats than tricks.